Hey guys, my name is Paul DeWise. <clears throat> I'm with Forerunner 3D Printing. And today I'm gonna to show you how to cut threads onto the outside of a shaft. Um, and specifically, this is so that these threads could be 3D printed. So uh, to start out with, we're gonna be doing a quarter 20 thread. Uh, and so what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to figure out what the major diameter uh, of the shaft is that you want to cut your threads into. Um, I would recommend uh, this chart over at uh, engineersedge.com. Uh, link will be down below. Um, come in here and uh, you, you want to look at your major diameter basic uh, and then your screw size. So major diameter, that's the this column right here. So we're going to go down until we find quarter 20. Um, these are different classes of threads. We're not really going to get into that at all today. Um, but basically, it tells you, hey, quarter 20 thread, major diameter, quarter inch. Uh, so we're going to go back over to SolidWorks here. <clears throat> and uh, I've already got a quarter inch diameter shaft drawn on here, one inch long. And so what I like to do is I always like to put chamfers on either end of my part. Um, now, in this case, let's say you were making a nut or something that only had the threads that were you're going to be only threading from one end. You'd only put a chamfer on the end that you're going to be threading on with a nut or threading into with a nut. Um, <clears throat> but in this case, it's a shaft. So I'm going to throw a chamfer on both ends. Okay, now um, I'm going to go to my thread tool. Um, and uh, if you need to find your thread tool, if you go to features, pull wizard, drop down threads. Um, I just have mine stuck out here. You can also go up to this and type, change it to command search and then type in uh, thread and it'll find it there for you as well. So a bunch of different ways to find this command. So you click on thread. There's a whole bunch of different options here, but basically we're just gonna start from the top, work our way down. So thread location, edge of cylinder, um, that's gonna be this edge right here. Um, I, if this was a, a bolt where there was a head on this end, um, I would then do this edge down here. I would do the end that the, that's, is actually going to thread into something. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, start position, I'm going to pick this face. Uh, up to selection, in this case, I, I'm going to pick this face right here. There's also the ability to do a blind if you're uh, doing like a nut or something like, or I'm sorry, a bolt or something like that. Um, and then you want to make sure that your thread extends off either end of your part. Um, it already does on this one, but on this end, it doesn't. Just a good rule of thumb. I like to do a hundred thou offset on both ends just to be absolutely sure my threads are going to go completely off my part. I don't wind up with an issue where I can't get my threads to engage uh, because there's not all the material been cut, has been cut out of the way. So that uh, that's all that. Um, Oh, uh, and I forgot to mention, uh, before you start, you want to make sure that if you're doing a shaft, you're doing an inch die. Um, if you were doing like a nut or like a hole, you would use an inch tap. Same goes for metric. So in this case, um, I'm already on inch die. You want to make sure you're on inch die as well. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Um, and then your thread size, I'm already on quarter 20 right here. Uh, so we're all good there. The rest of this, you really don't have to mess with, to be honest with you. Um, if you don't know what it means, it probably isn't something you need to mess around with. Um, but yeah, that uh, that's all of our stuff there. Hit our green check. And it cuts a beautiful quarter 20 thread into our rod. Uh, and this is absolutely 3D printable. Um, we've 3D printed threads all the way down to 832 uh inches uh or on the inch side of things and uh m4 on the metric side so there you have it <clears throat>